Awesome, awesome. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a, you know, meet money, Australian style. We're doing it in the Aussie time. Um, I was texting Tanya like crazy, <laughs> being like, because we put our clocks back yesterday today i don't know what day it is right now whatever you would call it but i was like oh, is this the right time are we sure this is the right time so guys we made it through you guys did a time change then we did a time change and now everything's messed up from when we started in september it's completely different <laughs> but welcome to our call this morning here evening there i am kat gertson i'm really excited to kind of walk through with you guys, some interesting parts about money, some things about my story. Um, some of you might have heard it before, some of you maybe haven't, and we are recording this. So if you are catching this on the replay, so thank you for checking this out. Um, so like I said earlier, I am Kat Gertzen. I am a director with Mon8. I am a legacy founder and I'm also an emerging founder. And that's important because every single person listening to this has the ability to become an Asia Pacific founder. All right. So that is something that's pretty cool. So you're going to want to listen in a little bit here as I'm chatting along with things. Um, so I joined with Monate here in Canada on August 1st of 2015. All right. So I feel like it was yesterday, you guys. I honestly do, but it's been almost six and a half years and I don't know where the time has gone it was funny i was looking through pictures the other day of um at our because november was the month that we went and did the official canadian launch in toronto so there was a bunch of memories coming up right on my facebook memories and i was like oh it was six years ago wasn't it because i can tell i i look six years older now <laughs> right like i look like i have raised a three-year-old to a nine-year-old that's what it looks like <laughs> Um, but I joined on August 1st, 2015, when this company really was not a whole lot yet. I'll be honest with you. It was a real shot in the dark. Um, I also like probably shot, probably should have thought a little bit more about it because I had never done the industry before. Um, I'm a massage therapist by trade. We're not exactly known for being like salesy people, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever laid on your massage yeah. therapist table and she's like, having a really full house here. And I know it's like to be suddenly left alone. Well, got the mute there. <laughs> um, but you've never really had that kind of situation with your massage therapist. But before that, I was actually a server and then I moved into a night manager and then a bar manager. And then I also worked in the oil field um, before I had my daughter. It was actually, I was working on, if I don't know if you guys have it, this there, but you probably, you probably do. I'm assuming you guys have oil fields in Australia. And if you don't, you've seen them on the movies. Um, but um, until I was eight months pregnant, I was actually working on a rig. Okay, so I was on an oil rig working on an oil rig in coveralls. They actually like cut out pieces of my coveralls and put insertions in so it would fit my stomach. So you're probably like, why the heck were you working? Um, mind you, it was July and Tanya can tell you what the weather's like in Alberta in July. It's hot. And I was wearing steel toed rubber boots, coveralls, hard hat, eight months pregnant. Okay. Um, why the heck was I doing that? Okay. Well, my daughter's father left me and her when I was four months pregnant. So I didn't really have a freaking choice. If I'm going to be honest with you, I had to make as much money as I possibly could, uh, before I had this baby, because my main goal was that, you know, in Canada here, we get to have a full year of maternity leave if you can afford it right? Um, it's not like you get very little pay during that time. So I knew I had to save up a bunch of money. I needed to get that in the bank. I needed to go with that. And I also needed to be able to, you know, live a life, right. And try to somewhat, well, I did, I did work really, really hard, you guys. And I did, I was able to make it to 10 months without having to go back to work with my girl. But I can tell you there was a moment in that process for me. And I was absolutely terrified. And it's the reason that I actually made the choice to go back to school. Cause I was a college dropout on a hockey scholarship in the States before oil field work. Um, but why I decided to go back to school as massage therapist, um, 
and work full time as well during that time when my daughter was 10 months old was because I really, really, really wanted to work to a life where I could control my own schedule. And as a massage therapist, I saw that potential, right? I saw that ability I could you know, plan. So I didn't take any clients until I could drop her off at day home. And then I would stop working at a certain time. That was so great. I was like, I'm so excited about this. Okay, guys, then I got into the massage therapist world. And there is something pretty crazy about that world. That's probably very familiar to like lash techs, nail techs, hairstylists, all those people. Okay. Maybe not exactly the same. So excuse my verbiage here, but I was not making any money if I wasn't touching naked humans, all right? I wasn't making a penny, right? I wasn't, I was like sitting there and I'm like, so I, and this drove me absolutely bonkers, you guys. Like this actually kept me up at night frustrated because I could sit down on any night of the year and tell you how much money I could make, I was gonna make by the end of this year, right? I could sit down and be like, well, I only have two hands. Um, There's only so many hours in a day so many days in a week. And I can only charge so much for a massage based off of what everyone else is charging in the freaking area I live in. Right. And I got to tell you, working that job was not making ends meet. Okay. Like I was always running out of money before month, right? The month wasn't over. And I was like, Hey, I guess we're walking to the grocery store for the next two days kind of thing. Like that's, that was my reality. And I'm not saying this to like be a sob story or anything like that, because I, I wholeheartedly believe that for a lot of people, whether or not you're a single mom or not, that is a reality for a lot of people running out of money before the month is over. That is a real thing. I don't care what kind of lifestyle you live. I think we all kind of are just in this world trying to like get ahead and get somewhere. And sometimes we get stuck in some, you know, mud, some quicksand in that sense. And so guys, I was sitting there one night and I was like, I mean, I make jokes about all of it and I I play it down, but it was like crushing my soul. I'm going to be honest with you. Right. When, when you don't have, like, when you're trying to juggle, like, okay, well this bill was paid a month late. So we have to pay it this month, but this one can be a month late, like pushing things around like that. Right. So it was, it was like tormenting me. And I was also still having to work at the restaurant in the evenings to still just try to keep things afloat and going. And so I was sitting up in the middle of the night and I was in one of those crossroad moments. I don't know if anyone's ever been there in those moments where you're kind of like looking around and you're like, so this is, this is what life is. Hey, like I get another approximately 75 years of this sweet like can't wait the buckle up let's keep going right and I was looking around in my small townhouse with my baby girl sleeping upstairs and she was just turned two and I was like thank goodness she's up there because I'd be gone like peace I'm going somewhere I don't know where hopefully it's a good place kind of thing but I didn't do anything crazy and I, I just flipped open the computer and I saw before and after pictures of some shampoo when I was like, Hey, your life's going to shit. Might as well find some good shampoo to use. Right. Like this should be good. So I reached out to the girl who had the before and after picture there. This was in November of 2014. And she's like, Oh, we don't sell it in Canada yet. And I was like, well, why don't you <laughs> like, I don't understand how this is. She's like, and then you guys, and then I had that moment where I was like, Oh, I had seen her selling things before. And I had seen that they were like, you know, those pyramid schemey things. Those like those things. And I was like, ah, I wish I could unsend a message. Like, I don't want this girl all over me. Right. But then I stopped for a second and I was like, why not me? So then I thought I was going to find a loophole. I was like, well, what if I want to sell it? And she's like, no, you still can't sell it. We're not in Canada yet. So much like Tanya, um, I had to wait. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting and stalker messaging her all the time. I saw her hit founder. And I was like, what is founder? And she's like, it's profit shares. And I was like, well, I want in. She's like, you can't yet. And I'm like, okay, I'm waiting. Can you tell the people there that I want to join? <laughs> right? Like I'm, you don't know this yet, but I'm going to be very special to you. (laughs) Um, so finally money came in and long story short, you guys, like within a month of that, I was able to drop the serving and working at the restaurant in the evenings, which was really like, was a huge 
part of my like journey. I was like, oh my gosh, could you imagine not having to work every single evening away from my kid? That'd be so cool. And then it came true. And then, you know, and then the next month I went and I was able to cut down to half of my clients. I was able to fire those clients that I dreaded coming in. And someone who works in that type of industry knows exactly what I mean. Okay. You have clients that you don't want to have them be your client, but they pay bills. Okay. So I got to fire those ones. I got to fire the creepy guys that would say weird things. I got to, you know, I got to get rid of those ones that kept calling me a masseur. I'm like, no, I am not. That is not what you're getting here. <laughs> like, stop it. Right. But I got to, I got that, that freedom. And I started to actually enjoy massaging a lot more again. Right. Because I was working with professional athletes. I was doing what I wanted to do. I was killing it in this weird shampoo hustle, which was crazy because this is how you see me most days. Like, actually it's a little bit fancier today. Cause I have a braid in anyone who's been on a call before knows this is, I got dressed up for y'all, right? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and then you guys, something crazy happened in November. So November of 2015. And I, I, you know, I had become the first Canadian founder. Uh, I was actually the first Canadian managing market mentor as well. And I sat there on the November check for us. So that would have been like our October. So that was three months in and I opened it up on the 15th of the month and I closed it quick. Like I was like, I remember that I'll never forget that moment because literally sitting there on that paper was the number that I had thought was like a stupid dream, right? I thought it was this number that I was like, well, I'm going to put it as my goal, but that's never going to happen. I never thought in a million years I was going to make five figures in one month. That was unheard of, let alone you guys, I made five times more money with Monique in that month than I did doing massage. And I had to give my head a shake and I had to be like, okay, listen, you're putting all this time into massage, right? I didn't have the kind of job that I could work at while I was at work, right? Like my clients would be a little turned off by me texting while <laughs> rubbing. Like you don't mind the one-handed, right? I'll give you a deal. But I was like, give, your, give it a look here. And so right then in that day, I, November 15th, I messaged all my clients and I said, Hey, like, I'm not going to take any more bookings with you guys. The last appointment that you have booked in is the one I'll finish. So December 10th, I like to say is the day I officially touched my last naked human that I got paid for anyways. I'm just kidding. Guys. <laughs> but but that, that was, that was it for me. You guys, like I got to bring my life back. I got, my daughter was three and a half years old and I got to be there with her. I was no longer having to worry that I was going to miss something. I became the mom that thought I was going to have to ship her off with grandparents to play hockey and do all the things to like fast forward to now, like I'm the coach, right? I'm her hockey coach. I'm that's, that's my life now is I'm like the mom that's there. That's me. And that might not be what everybody wants, but that sure as hell was what I wanted right? That's what I wanted. And I didn't want to miss those things. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the company that really made that possible because I would not have seen that possibility in any other company. And I'm going to talk about why here, because number one is our products. And yes, our products are freaking amazing and they're good and they're all those things. But I'm going to tell you something here about these products is that when you can jump in and you can work with a company and sell a product that people are literally putting down the drain, You've just made your job a lot easier, right? It's a lot different than selling something that people have to like, you know, you're getting one customer and they're only kind of coming by like an earring so many times from you, right? Like there's only so many things that they can do with that, right? And I didn't want to make lifestyle changes with people. I'm sorry. Like I know everyone loves to go on a fitness journey here or there and once in a while, right? But like, I was like, I'm way too blunt and type A to help people on a lifestyle change. Like that's just not going to be my, my thing. Right. And then I was able to align with a product line that as a massage therapist, I am a little crunchy, right? I am a little crunchy. I am a little aware as to what's going on people's bodies and how things work and all of the aromatherapy. That was actually like a strong part of my background was aromatherapy. So essential oils, I was looking at these products, you guys. And I was like, First off, I was a little bit mad that I had not thought of Rejuvenique first, being honest with you, because it just makes sense. If you know your essential oils and you know all of those things, you're looking at it and you're like, well, geez, like, <laughs> wow, that's well, you got me there, Ernetta's, right? But then when I stepped into this business, I come from being a professional athlete. 
Okay. And to step into something, which is a family, like a team was for me, I'm a hockey player and I loved hockey for that team aspect, right? That was something that I thrived in. I loved, I loved learning from other people. I loved being motivated by other people and in turn being able to do the same. That's what we came kind of in with, right? We're in this like team and corporate was there as a team. And I'm sure you guys are feeling it there with the Australian corporate too. Like people want to see other people succeed. And I had not felt that since my hockey playing days, right? I had been in the real world where you kind of have to step on people on the way up the ladder, but that wasn't the case here. I was like, what the heck? I, my soul is being fueled up more and more and more every single day. And I'm loving this, right? And then when I started to learn the nitty gritty of things and understand that like every single time a product touches someone else's hand in that distribution chain, the price goes up right? Every time it leaves the manufacturer and it touches this truck and this truck and this truck, that's where the prices go up because everyone wants their piece. So I was like, holy cow, money is manufacturing and distributing the products and sending them right to my customers, right? So that's how they can charge because I'm looking at these ingredients in these products and I'm just from the essential oils. I don't know anything about surfactants and anything like that, but just the essential oils alone and where they're, they come from to be, you know, that good. I'm like, these products should be way more money. And then it made sense why they're not because there's money touching their head, like them and then giving them direct to consumer. And I was like, this is amazing, right? This is absolutely amazing because I felt like I had cracked this code. I did not understand that network marketing had been around for many years, you guys. Okay. That's how I was like, oh, we are onto something here. Little did I know there's like companies like Tupperware that I'd heard of that I did not know were that model. Right. But then looking at it and getting into the science parts. And like, if you want to look into the science part, go look up our scientific advisory board, right? Go look them up, get excited about it because they're people who are way smarter than most people I know. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like they got so many letters behind their name that I'm just like, oh, we'll take, we'll, we'll listen. My favorite person that I want you to, to go and take a peek at is Antonelli Tosti. Okay. She is a trichologist. Okay. She's actually one of the most journaled and published trichologist in all of the world. Okay. And she works with money. She puts her stamp of approval on money. And a trichologist is a study of hair and scalp disorders and the health of the hair and scalp. Right. So go check her out because she's very, 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 very fascinating. And what she also by putting her name on money is kind of a big deal. Okay. So this is cool because in Australia, you can now become VIP customers. All right. So you have the ability to bring in customers now or not just in like a pre-launch time. So I like to describe this like this. So if you are listening here or maybe you're sitting in Antonelli Tosi. So T-O-S-S-I, I believe it is. It's Italian. So I'm probably butchering it. If you heard me say luncheon, it's not luncheon. Apparently it's luncheon. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not good at pronouncing things, guys. You've got to be good at that to sell shampoo. <laughs> because um, I all like a, a lot of shampoo I actually just found out that it was a few months ago I rolled over a million dollars in sales in Canadian dollars right so I'm almost at my million dollar jacket so I can do it you guys every single one of you guys can <laughs> right but I like to look at this and I like to say to people okay they're like I don't know what I want to be do I want to be a VIP or do I want to be a market partner Okay. So I'll, I'll give you the way to know if you're walking somewhere and someone's like, oh my gosh, I love your jeans. And you say, thank you. Be a VIP. Okay. If you're out walking and someone's like, I love your jeans. And you were like, I got them at American Eagle and I ordered them online and they were 40% off you should check it out. Did you want me to say, if you're the person that's like, Hey, this is where I got it. It was on sale. It has pockets. Like if that is naturally who you are, where you're just like, Oh, I like your hair. Oh yeah. I got it done here. Oh, your nails are great. Yeah. You should go see my, if, if you're a natural referrer, market partner is for you. I'm telling you that. So that's how people can decide. The VIP program is a great program. You're going to get free gifts, birthday codes. You're going to get discounts. You're going to get free shipping. You're going to be able to design a schedule for you, for your hair care needs, right? You're going to be able to dock up orders how you want them to be, when you want them to come, boom, boom, boom. 
and then you're going to have access to all of the amazing flash sales that are going to be coming through. Okay. Market partner, on the other hand, is the opportunity. I need to say this loud and clear because you need to be a market partner to become a founder. To get those shares, you need to. Okay. You cannot get those as a VIP. Just to make that very, very clear. Okay there but you're not just going to have access you guys to shares because i'm going to tell you like my shares started off at like six hundred dollars canadian okay i can tell you i have seen shares come through at over twenty thousand dollars for a quarter now okay over the course of six years those shares grow substantially all right um and you guys have the asia pacific so that's like i've heard there's a lot of people over there right <laughs> Just a couple, right? Just a few. Um, but that's our opportunity, really. And I'll open up for questions at the end. But I really, really, really want to get to our guest speaker here. And I'm just so flipping proud of the leadership that she has shown. I'm so proud of like, just like the go that she has come into this with. She is inspiring all over the world. And I can say that because it's happening, right? She's inspiring people all over the world. And that is so cool to see. And I want to have Tanya come in here and just talk a little bit about her story and why she joined. Hello, everyone. So nice to see you all on here. And thank you, Kat. It is such an exciting, exciting time for us all. Um, a little bit about my story, guys. Well, I just sort of come across this opportunity when we were living in Canada. Um, you know, I was working full time in the government before we left, um, Monday to Friday, kids going into, you know, before school care, after school care, all of that stuff. You all know the, how that goes. Um, and then we went to Canada and I was like, yay, I'm going to be a stay at home mom. Like, woo! And it was so exciting. And I'm like, busy. And then after three months in Canada, I'm like, ah. Oh, what now? <laughs> the kids are at school and I'm just there going, boop, 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 you know, scrolling on Facebook and all of that kind of stuff. And then my husband, Andrew, come home one day and said, oh, Gary's going on a free trip. I said, what do you mean she's going on a free trip? I want a free trip. And then, boom, Monate sort of just fell into my lap, guys. And I tell you, it's been the best decision that I have ever made. And, you know, we've come back to Australia now and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this opportunity like Kat was. And now that it's finally here and prior to Monate launching, um, you know, I was in that rut going, well, I need to do something. I need to be doing more than just being a stay-at-home mum. Being a stay-at-home mum is great, but it gets tedious and it gets to that point where you want something more. So I actually applied for the Queensland Ambulance Service as a call taker. Um, you know, I'm very, I was always passionate in that field. I worked at Queensland Ambulance for a long time. Um, I, I did, you know, the paramedic thing, didn't really want to do that, but call taking you know I love watching all the ambulance shows and all that kind of stuff so I've applied and I you know, I've been through all of the processes and I've been approved and I'm still waiting after 18 months for them to give me the hoy come and join us but you know I was just doing that to fill the void because I wanted something to do and then bam Manate was launching in Australia I'll say hey Hallelujah! Oh, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> and bam, it's here, guys. And it's such an amazing opportunity. And, you know, our little team that we've um, developed, we are hitting the ground running and we are making a mark here in Australia. So you should all be so, so very proud of what we have achieved in just what? five weeks time you know it's this is just the beginning for an absolute beautiful life for us all and I'm so glad to be able to share this all with you and be on this journey and you know all of these free trips that we'll all be able to go on you know and that's what got me excited in the first place and yeah so that you know that's a little bit about my story guys now that you know Monate is here I don't need to go looking for that other opportunity with ambulance um just to fill the void like you know I'm you know I'm reconnecting with people I've got purpose again I've got a spring in my step you know I wake up each morning just going right who can I help today who can I reach out? Who can I touch? Who can, what can I do to help someone? Um, you know, I'm speaking with a girl um, at the gym 
um, you know, really strapped for cash. But I was like, hey, it's all good. Like, I've got you, you know, I'm giving her some products. And like, as long as like I'm, I'm helping her, like she can pay it off. That's totally fine. But this is what it is for me. It's about and now be able to help as many people as I possibly can. And I'm so excited. And, you know, and like you guys as well, you're already out there helping your friends and your family. So it's an, such an exciting time. And I'm just glad to be on this journey with you all. So woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. It is, it's like, it is so bittersweet because it was so many times where we would think they would be launching Australia and then they wouldn't. And we would be like, oh gosh, mm -hmm. I wish I could hug Tanya right now because I know she's going to be upset. Like we just, it was like, oh, it was so out of our hands. And then you know, but it's here now and it's so exciting. And, you know, there's a ton of things like Tanya, you know, trips is what got her right. Me guys, I could care less if I ever leave my house again. Like I really don't. I'm like the biggest introvert homebody. Like my mom was like, we should go. I was like, ah, really? It's been two years. We, we want to jump right back in. Like, <laughs> but I will leave my house to come to Australia once we can. And it works and everything like that. <laughs> Um, but I came for the money, right? My mom came for the community. My sister came for the money. We have, people have different things. So ask your questions. So if there are any questions on here, or even if there's some that, you know, someone would have that maybe couldn't catch it, I'm got the recording happening here. So feel free to fire those questions out and, uh, we can take our best stab at them. We good? No questions. We're like excited. We're ready to rock and roll. Everyone's saying yes. Going to send this. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> well, guys, I'm so freaking jacked for you all. I know that we're rolling into like just that pre before the middle of the month. There is time for you to come in, for you to say yes, for you to bring your friends in and give everybody have their shot at being able to get those shares. I wish I could like come over and shake people like shake them like this and be like, you, you want these. Okay. You want these say yes, work your hiney off, get them and you will not regret it. All right. But with that, you guys have the most amazing evening for you guys. Right. <laughs> yes. Woo, Monday zooms. Right. I actually, I'm going to say, I like this time change a lot better. 2 a.m. was easier than three because I just didn't go to bed. So if you didn't notice, I have a lot more energy than I probably did the other days because I have not, I'm not like trying to wake up. But yes, I'm so excited. I cannot wait for you guys to just be like have even more ranks and welcomes happening. So with that, guys, have the most amazing night and let's go and absolutely kill it for Tuesday. Bye guys. <laughs>